Stand up. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Green Valley. I'm Tori Squires. And I'm Cami Porter. Seniors, listen up. This is important. We need two baby pictures and two current senior photos. The deadline to submit your pictures for graduation will be April 15th. Also, local scholarships are due February 27th, which is this Friday, so be sure to fill out all those applications. If you're looking for community service opportunities, there are a few coming up. Friday, March 6, 3.45 to 8.30 at Matthews Elementary School Carnival. And on March 13th, 14th, and 15th, there will be a basketball tournament. Last opportunity will be Saturday, March 21st from 9 to 12, where you can help with child care at South Middle School. So, Tori, did you see all the Eagle Mat Mayhem in this past weekend? Yes, that is awesome. Not only for those wrestlers, but the whole school. Yeah, so if you happen to see Maverick Alexander, who placed first, Harrison Bamman, who placed third, and Bradley Feagans, who took fifth, passing through the halls, be sure to congratulate them on their awesome accomplishments. Speaking of state, we have had a few FBLA members place at districts. Joshua Jones took second in Intro to Business. Skylar Boone took third in Agricultural Business. And Sydney Shields took fourth in Personal Finance. They will take another online test in March as part of the state competition, which takes place in April. We have had a lot of success with our basketball teams as well. The girls basketball team has officially won the MRVC West Conference, going undefeated in conference play so far with one game left. Both the boys and girls will take on Pleasant Hill, girls on Thursday, and boys at home on Friday. These games are crucial as Districts is right around the corner. That's right. Districts held at Grain Valley this year begin on Saturday, February 28th. If unable to make it to any of the games or school events, you can follow along on iHi or check Twitter for updates tweeted by GBHS Activities. Also, anyone interested in playing boys golf this spring needs to see Coach Herber in the A-plus office by the end of this week. All student athletes who are wanting to try out for a spring sport need to have a current physical on file with the Activities Office by March 2nd. If you have a physical that needs to be turned in, turn it into Miss Graham in the Activities Office as soon as possible, with all the pages completely filled out. Again, in order to try out or play in a spring sport, you must have your physical turned into her no later than March 2nd. If you have any doubts, if you have a current physical on file, please email Ms. Graham at sgram at gvr5.net and she will let you know. Speaking of emails, make sure to be constantly checking them because everything is going electronic, even your library fees. One last thing, if you are interested in being in GVTV this next school year, hopefully you have filled out an application and added it to your school schedule. Because the next step is signing up for a short interview after school. Sign up for an interview time in Ms. McElwain's room. I want to say a final congratulations to all the students and their accomplishments this past week at Grain Valley. Have a good day and enjoy the rest of your Eagle time.